Cunning clue number three. I'm good at solving mysteries. Have you guessed yet? Yes, of course. It's Bakerloo from Underground Ernie. should be here soon. Maybe he's going more slowly than usual. He has got a rather special present on board. Yeah, he's bringing us a statue. I can't wait to see what it looks like. I wonder what it's a statue of. Whatever it is, it will be a real honour. Hi, Millie. Your buddy Brooklyn here, all the way from the U.S. of A. We'll be waiting for you on the platform, Brooklyn. It's so good to see you again. Yeah, how you doing, guys? Hi, Hi Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Hello, Brooklyn. Where's the statue? It's in my carriage. Can't wait to see it. Hi, Brooklyn. God. Oh. What does it look like? This is a present from the American Underground. You're gonna love it. Hmm, it's not supposed to be of Ernie, is it? No, this is a piece of genuine modern art. I think it's amazing, Brooklyn. We all do. Yes, thank you very much. So, where are you going to put it? A statue like this needs to go somewhere real special. Then somewhere special is where it will go. That's what I like to hear. <sighs> now, where can I get some blasts of fresh air? <laughs> Try my line, Brooklyn. Follow me. Don't you like it, Ernie? Well, uh, sort of. Ah, Mr. Rails, could you please find a special place for this statue? Oh, so that's what it is. Yes, thank you. Oh. Oh. We don't want it on our line, do we, City? No way! Then when nobody said moving statues would be part of the job. <laughs> We should give Brooklyn a gift in return. You're right, Millie. But what? Why don't you ask Mr Rails to make something in his workshop? Of course. He's so good at making things. I see Mr Rails is making a trip to the scrap heap. How do you know that, Bakerloo? Elementary, my dear Victoria. He was carrying an enormous piece of rubbish. That wasn't rubbish. It was art. That is a matter of opinion. Indeed. I believe my first deduction was the correct one. It's Brooklyn's gift to the International Underground. Well, I don't want it on my line. Or mine. That Brooklyn needs to be shown what real art is. Mr. Rails, is Ernie here? Now what? Uh, could you make a statue for Brooklyn to take back to America? Me? Make art? 
Well, you can make anything, Mr Rails. Well, if this is what passes for art nowadays, maybe I could. Wonderful. Brooklyn's not leaving until tonight, so you'll have plenty of time. Mr Rails, international artist. How about that? This would be a fantastic place for my statue. What do you say, Circle? Oh, well, um... Fancy some organic beetroot to take home, Brooklyn? Uh, I hope you don't mind me saying, Farmer Sprout, but I don't like beetroot. And I hope you don't mind me saying that I don't like the statue, Brooklyn. It's not natural enough for me. Ah, that's OK. We don't all have to like the same things. That's what I love about art. Oh, Brooklyn, you're so groovy. Brooklyn, I'd like you to come with me to see some real art at the museum station. Oh, but I'm... Circle doesn't mind. Do you, Circle? No, Brooklyn can do whatever he wants. Then it's settled. Follow me, Brooklyn. What are you doing with that old thing, Mr Rails? Oh, I'm putting it on display. You can't put it here. It'll, um, it'll be in the way. Huh? Oh, yes. You're right there. So this is real art, you say? Yes, my dear. Now do you see what I mean? Well, sure, it's very nice, but I kind of like more modern stuff, you know? Look more closely then, please. See the carving. Feel the beauty. Oh, brother. Mr. Rails, haven't you found a place to put the statue yet? No, I jolly well haven't. Hammersmith and City don't want it on their line and Jubilee's just turned it down too. And Victoria and Bakerloo don't want the statue either. It'll have to go at one of Circle Stations then. Yes, how about Sprout's Organic Farm? Will do, Ernie. And you haven't forgotten about making a statue of your own, I hope. Yeah, I can only do one thing at a time, Ernie. Well, you know what they say. Mr Rails never fails. Oh, oh no, no. It can't go here. Brooklyn knows I don't like the statue. Sorry, Circle, but Ernie said to put it here, so here it goes. But, but... But it will block the platform, and that can't be safe. Oh, oh, bother some buffers. The statue will be in its special place any moment now, Brooklyn. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to seeing it. Ernie, I can't put that piece of junk at the organic farm. Uh, hang on, hang on, Mr Rails. Uh, excuse me, Brooklyn. No problem, Ernie. Yeah, Circle's right. Safety must come first. Why don't you put the statue on the international train line? It'll be well away from any station. Brilliant idea, Millie. Did you hear that, Mr Rails? Take the statue there straight away. <laughs> I forgot to tell Ernie that I won't have time to make me own statue. Having a bad day, are we, Mr Rails? Oh, I've had worse. You worry. That was my oldest wheelbarrow. I was going to replace it anyway. Let me take it back to my workshop. I'll fix it like new. So, 
Where have you put my statue, Ernie? You'll see it before you go, Brooklyn. I promise. Mr Rails, is everything OK? Well, it's all in place. I never thought I'd say it, but it looked grand. Brooklyn, we thought that your statue deserved a gift in return, made especially by Mr Rails. Ah, no, uh, Ernie. So, on behalf of the International Underground... I didn't get around to... Wow! Look at that modern art! What? This? Mr Rails, you're a genius! Well, I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't let us down. So, <laughs> we gave Brooklyn a squashed wheelbarrow. <laughs> yeah, apparently Brooklyn called Mr Rails a genius. And I thought I'd taught him what real art is. Art can be anything you want it to be. What about uh, a squash bucket? Yes. Or a squashed football. That could be art too. <laughs> or a, a squashed video camera. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> a squashed computer, a squashed train shed, a squashed banana, a squashed aardvark, a squashed traction engine, a squashed lemon. <laughs> Jupiter, it's time to blast off for some brand new adventures with Lunar Jim. We'll be there in no time. Because you never know what strange new things you'll find out in space. space. Cosmic! <laughs> Let's get Lunar with the brand new series of Lunar Jim. Starts Monday at 8.40 on CBeebies.